Good afternoon. I'm Kevin Carnes, President of the U.S. Business and Industry Council. Today, the Council is pleased to present our Fighting Frosh Award for 2011 to Congressman Mo Brooks from Alabama's 5th Congressional District. Today, we honor Mr. Brooks' service to the people of Alabama and the nation. He's a rare breed of congressman. Not only did he campaign on coming to Washington and changing the way things are done here, but he has actually carried out his campaign promises from the moment he was sworn in in the Capitol. Mo Brooks has been a stalwart defender of domestic American industry, technology, innovation, and job creation. He understands that if the American people are going to have meaningful, sustainable jobs, then an economic recovery has to be based on unleashing their talents to engage in domestic production. This award has been given out for the last 20 years, but unfortunately, we have only 12 recipients of the award because we cannot find every year a congressman with Mo Brooks' fire and stature to come to Washington and take on the establishment. That's why we're so pleased to honor him today. Representative Brooks understands the centrality of manufacturing and technology to job creation and wealth creation in this country. He understands that American businesses cannot compete with Chinese and even American-owned businesses that are hiding behind a 40% subsidized currency. In short, Mo Brooks is a fighter. He's a fighter on the side of American entrepreneurs, on American businessmen and women, and the average American working man and woman. That's why USBIC is so proud to honor Mo Brooks today and encourage him to keep up his great start in Congress. Congressman Brooks. Well, thank you so, so thank much. You. It's truly an honor uh, as a member of Congress, a freshman, a first year, to be able to uh, receive this award from the United States Business and Industrial Council, uh, an entity that represents 2,000 manufacturers, small, medium size, over 200,000 employees who are on the front line trying to protect, preserve, and create jobs for Americans. And to have this award symbolizing uh, my commitment to what you guys are doing to try to create a free trade, free enterprise market in America and throughout the world that enables us to compete on a level playing field. Uh, it's one of the highest honors I've received as a United States Congressman. I want you to know that I very much appreciate uh, the award and, and what it means for our effort. Uh, but I do want to add something, and that is that the fight's not over. This is a continuing battle. There are forces around the world, and there are forces in Washington, D.C., that for whatever reason seemingly want to protect foreign jobs rather than enable American jobs to compete on a level playing field. And I give you this commitment that I will do everything in my power, not only through the remainder of this term, but God willing future terms, to fight on behalf of American jobs because it's those American jobs that create the American economy, that create the wealth, that allow and enable our country to do so much for so many people, not only here, but also around the world. So, Kevin, uh, it's an honor. Thank you so much for the opportunity and the privilege. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it.